Hello and welcome. My name is Tyrion Lannister. I am aware that I did you guys a little dirty. I didn't post anything about the K140 KVK. I didn't post anything about our AC versus Ash, uh, the one in Mad at least. Um, and I feel bad. So I wanted to record something for you guys, tell you a little bit about how that went. Uh, so first things first, KVK, we won. Um, it was a pretty good match. Um, nothing too crazy happened, to be honest with you. Uh, I will say it's kind of interesting to me, the that King KVK was the one where you get the extra merit, um, and there wasn't a whole lot of fighting. You get 10% extra merit and extra uh, tokens. Um, I got a ton of these tokens from that, from fighting, um, but not a lot of other people were fighting, so I was kind of sad about that. Um, I am intrigued. The next one is the, the one where you get the bonus diamonds, so I'm kind of expecting that people are going to go maybe a little bit harder for the win itself, just because you get those bonus diamonds, and that's going to be a big deal. Um, I think that a lot of kingdoms also have rules around who can collect level 5 diamonds in the case that your kingdom wins. So I'm going to be intrigued to see how people respond to that. Um, we're usually pretty active in KVKs, but I'm excited to see how we do. Um, so as far as my personal castle, um, I took another hit. If you check my power, uh, I'm back down to 363. I was up at about 380, 390 um, before KVK, but I uh, took a hit. I lost a good number of spears. Um, you can see my normal spear count is down. Um, but not too bad overall, considering uh, all things considered, I did pretty well. I do have some of these guys training back up in my hospital, um, so they'll be back soon. Those are all uh, T4 spears, so that should get my power back up a little bit and make me look a little bit better. But um, I'll share with you guys the reports that I had. Um, I thought they were kind of interesting to look at. Um, so basically, I, I think there were three reports that really mattered. Um, I kind of got to the KVK a little bit late. Um, we were fighting um, both ARP and BEZ, um, and it was a good match. They were very, very fun to play against um, to a certain extent. Some of them went harder than others, but I wanted to share this report. So basically, um, I was in a couple of castles, and a guy started attacking me, um, and he, as you can see, is much stronger than me. He was a, a very big account. Uh, blue and purple, glorious, or that's a storm mage, but he has some blue, uh, glorious accessories, very, very strong account. Um, much, much stronger than I am, obviously. So, um, as he was marching, I was like, oh. So I very, very quickly recalled a bunch of troops, tried to get as many back as I could in time um, to tank his hit. Um, I usually have about four or five million troops. I was only able to get back 3.6 in time. Um, I could have emptied, but it was such a boring and slow KVK that I was like, I kinda wanna take the hit, I wanna see how it goes. Um, and this looks really bad, but Here's the key, guys. If you look at the details, you'll see that I actually did pretty well with this hit. Um, he took out my T1 spear front. Um, so he took down 875,000 of my T1 spears, which I couldn't care less about. Whereas for him, I killed um, about the same number of elites as he killed of mine, but then he also lost um, a good chunk of royal spears and a couple royal cap. He, he lost a lot more than me in this regard. My royal spears weren't even touched on this attack. Um, so I consider this a win. Um, it, it looks on paper like I had many more losses. Um, my hospitals are not very big. I need to get my hospitals <laughs> a little bit bigger. Um, I, I've been focused on training troops for a while, but I uh, came up with a good chunk of merit. Um, I also wounded um, a good number of troops, and like I said, I killed a good number of T4s. So it was good for my bravery tokens, or sorry, it was good for my like attacking tokens. Um, that was pretty good. So right after that hit, he, I guess he double attacked me and he seemed to think that he was gonna like knock me down. Um, so we have this report and my hospital is still full. He actually hit it back to back, but he did this hit without his Lord, um, which as you can see, did not go well for him. He got annihilated. Um, this one, uh, obviously he lost all of those troops. I mean, they were just gone. Um, he got a couple wounded because he healed them, but I mean, he lost 600, almost 700,000 uh, royals in this. And again, I did not lose a single royal on this hit. Um, it was just my elite spears and the rest of my light, uh, my T1 spears that um, that went down. So this hit was fantastic. I was like really pleased, really happy. Um, then I did something dumb. I got all cocky and I was like, oh, I got this guy, he's weak. Um, and I actually, it was funny, I thought that this hit uh, so I knew I got my T4s back. If you look at this one, um, you can see that I didn't have all my T4s in. Uh, I didn't have any T4 cabs in, which 
I'm mostly a cap front. That's like my main troop. Um, and I, uh, and I got them all back for this hit. And I naively thought, oh, my cap must have just been doing work or something. And, and that's why I, I beat him so badly. And I didn't realize he even had his lord in it. Um, and I thought I had taken his lord. Um, so I very quickly, uh, I had actually, I bubbled right after that hit landed because I wanted to have time to look at the portrait and see what happened. And my friend was like, you got his lord, you got his lord. Um, and I was like, oh, I did? Sweet. And so I, I scouted him um, to mess with him. And I was thinking about uh, setting up a rally on him. And uh, then I, I looked at the report again and I said, wait a minute, I, he, I didn't get it, Lord. His Lord's still there. So he sent one more attack on me and this one did not go as well as the others. So this is the one where I lost mo most of my troops. Um, I lost about 200,000 T4 spears. Um, again, the, the rest were all wounded and they are what are healing in my, my, uh, <laughs> my hospital right now. Um, I did take out a good chunk of his T4 Spears, he lost about a little over a million, um, which is solid, you know, I'll certainly take that. Uh, I should have, uh, in terms of me playing this better, I definitely should have swapped to an in front by now. I knew he was a spear front castle. Um, there's no reason for me not to just switch this to an infantry front, especially considering my big uh, T1 wall of, of Spearman is gone. Um, I needed to train more T1 infantry so I could make this swap better, but I should have just fully swapped over and gone in front, even though my imp stats aren't as good. Um, but it just would have really screwed up his spears. Um, I was trying to go for a full counter. I knew he was spear cav, and so I initially wanted to be spear imp since that's a straight uh, counter to his to his rabbit. Um, but as you can see, um, this hit did not go as well for me. I didn't have my front line and my stats are just not good enough to hold up to his one, bill, one million uh, rally size, um, and my, my troops are not as strong. Um, I don't wanna show the battle log just because I, I don't feel like it's fair to him to show um, his stats. Um, I don't really care if you see mine, but um, I'll tell you that they are, are stronger than mine. I'm not by as much as I was expecting. I was certainly pleased with how I did against it. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know why this guy doesn't use awaken seg like that really confused me in his hits like he's spear front but he isn't using a fully awakened set or sorry goral not seg goral he uses the fully awakened seg but he doesn't have a fully awakened goral and goral is definitely the strongest um of this like three spear commanders like he has daenerys which is great that's you know t5 but i think that that would be better than jamie or miranda in this case and um, I, I think that that's a questionable choice on his part to not include the Fully Awakened Goral, just because it's giving 50% spear attack. Um, and then you're also getting, like, the I think there's another Awakened bonus, but like 10%. So it's around like 60% spear attack. I think that would probably have been better for his stats to do. But anyway, I'll take it. Like, on the whole, not bad. Like I said, I, I did lose a good chunk of, uh, of T4s there. I lost a lot of T3s as well. Um, but it could have been a lot worse in the grand scheme of things. And... I ended up being in like 16th or so that KVK um, in our kingdom. So pretty happy with how that went. Um, next up the AC. So I'll go to our AC page. Um, if I go to the competition itself, uh, I'm still in tough right now so I can show the predictions. I'm gonna move to Matt afterwards. Um, Mad did defeat Ash. Um, it was a very close match. Um, I think there's been a lot of talk about our, uh, like the way that we were trying to reinforce and the way that we tried to like swap castles. Um, I'm not gonna get into too much about that strategy until probably after the UC season is over, but um, I do think it's a good idea. There are a couple of things that we kind of learned from that match about how we're gonna tweak it um, and how to improve it. Um, but Ash did a really good job of learning from what happened to BDR. This is something that BDR also does, and I was very impressed in watching their match against Ash at how well they did it um, and how similar it is to what Mad does. So um, Ash clearly learned from it and kind of figured out what the counter is to it. And, you know, more power to them. That was good on them to figure that out. Um, but I do think that at the end of the day, this was just a match in which, you know, the, the stronger rally leads won out. Um, if you look at the total elimination points, I mean, this is one, two, three, four, um, all from MAD that, that were the, the top guys here um, in the elimination ranks uh, in the healing. Um, Mad was really conserving heals this match. GSW always goes crazy, but they did a really good job of, for the most part, conserving our heals because we really want to win the next match. This match was about winning, 
so we could get to the BDR match. Um, I think that that's what this has really been about for a lot of people. We want to face BDR. They want to face us. This is the match that everyone should be watching. Um, I, I will be honest, I didn't do a whole ton in it. I wasn't very <laughs> exciting. Um, I think that there have been other chroniclers who have posted about that match that have taken videos of it and they have better editing skills than I do. So I'd encourage you to just go and, and watch those there. Um, I, I would prefer to do the commentary afterwards. Um, in terms of who to bet on, um, I didn't bet on MAD only because I think it is a little bit like just faux pas to vote on, vote, uh, to to wager on yourself. Um, so I've been trying to avoid doing that. Although I do think that's probably the best bet of any of the matches here. I just don't think Mad will allow BDR to beat them by thirty-seven thousand. I think there's just no way that that is allowed to happen. To be frank, um, this is just too contentious of a match um, for either side to allow it to be that much of a blowout. Um, I voted on KAC um, and OGs, not to be clear. Not because I think KAC is going to win, but because I don't think OGs is going to meet that 33,000 handicap. Um, KAC has been coining hard, and their big guys are strong. They are willing to solo, they are willing to spend, and they have shown that throughout this UC. I expect that they will continue to do that, and I expect that they are going to make that match close, so that's why I put most of my prediction feathers on them. Um... The other two matches, uh, RUI versus N NW1 and WTP and N3O, I think the WTP and N3O one is going to be a, a blowout. I think WTP is going to win. Um, that being said, I don't think this is a good one to bet on just because 41,000, I think they will beat them by a good amount, but I don't know if it'll be 41,000. Like, that's a lot. Um, I don't think N3O is is that bad that they're going to take it <laughs> take it that bad. Like, they're not going to get... 41,000 difference, but I just think that that's in general a scary one to bet on because you just never know. I mean, WTP may go really hard and just try to get that 80,000 or something, and who knows what N3O does. I I, I think that, that was one that I was going to stay away from. I do think if you need a bet, that's not a bad one to bet on, honestly, um, to be clear, voting on N3O, but I, I don't know for sure, so I was staying away from that. Um, NW1 and RUI. This one is really fun for me. Um, I'm really excited to see how this match goes. This is the only rematch we've had so far. I'm um, oh, sorry, KAC and OGs is also a rematch. Um, but this isn't a rematch in which most people thought RUI was going to win. Um, this is a rematch where uh, people thought RUI was going to beat them in the first round, and then NW1 had our kind of first upset in which they actually won. So I'm really excited to see what happens in this rematch. I think Bizoming is going to keep going crazy and doing Bizoming things. But, um, I mean, yeah, he's, he's a pretty strong account. Um, I do think that NW1 had a really good strategy to beat them last time. That being said, I think RUI absolutely, if they play it right, should win this match. NW1 is strong, but they just don't have anyone that can come close to taking on Bizoming. And for that reason alone, I just think Bizeming, if he is just soloing nonstop, he will just drain them of resources. He needs to never be in a castle and just keep soloing nonstop. He loses so few resources for it, um, and they are losing so much. It's just it is worth it for him to do that. If he has enough speed ups, I say keep speeding up, dude, and just keep hitting, hit, hitting, um, and he will eventually just wear them down. Um, the other thing that R that Rey needs to do. Um, which I think would be really smart of them, is to try reinforcing um, when, and, and try properly exchanging castles. RUI is the only team in the game that I think really would have this ability against almost anyone because of Bisoming to just wear them down. I mean, maybe against some of the big, big guys like Run um, and IKW uh, and CTL, uh, although CTL, if it's not Napo, I don't know that any of them can really stand up to Bisoming. Um, but I think so, basically any other alliance, if they are facing RUI and Bisoming is soloing that castle, they're going to leave it. They're not going to be able to hold on to it. He's just too big, and he's just going to wear them down. And I really think they they have this opportunity, if they knew better, um, to, re to, to le have Bisoming leave it and have someone take it and then reinforce that person and if they did that properly, the way that you, you can, 
I think they would honestly be one of the top alliances in this UC. And I think they would be able to take down um, NW1 without even thinking about it. I honestly think they could take down most of the rest of this field in the loser's bracket right now. I mean, I think WTP would give them some problems, but I think that it would be a really close match. So maybe they're going to learn from their past mistakes. Maybe they're going to figure it out. Maybe NW1 holds on to it. But that's the match that I'm really excited about. Um, that's happening in 1900. Um, that'll be a fun one to watch. Obviously, BDR and Matt is going to be probably the most watched match. Um, it's the only one happening at 2200. Um, it's not the best time for us. I really wish it was 0100 and it um, was already happening. But, you know, you deal with what you get. Um, by the time this is posted, I'm hoping to have it up before that match happens, but that's going to be the one that uh, we're all focused on. Um, I will tell you that my overall prediction is doing pretty well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I will hopefully be back soon, um, and I'm hoping that soon I can find out if I'm a chronicler or not. I'm still kind of waiting on them to report back to me. I filled out their forms and everything, but devs, if you're watching this, please make me a chronicler. I'd love to be a chronicler. It'd be so fun. I'd be such a good chronicler.